in the bigger scheme of marketing, have you guys ever heard of the four P's in marketing? Product, price, place, and promotion? I believe there's a fifth one, and it's people. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter who we are and what's going on, it's people that are doing the exchange and the transaction. So if you're going to be successful in either selling yourself and your business, or your events, to get bums in the seats, at the end of the day, you have to realize that it's people that you're doing the business with. So who can tell me, first off, if anyone knows what word of mouth marketing is? Has anybody ever heard of that before? Yes? You've heard of it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess basically if you do good business, they will recommend you to their friends and colleagues. And All right. Very good. So word of mouth marketing is closely linked to customer service. So the official definition of word of mouth marketing is giving people people a reason to talk about your stuff and making it easy for that conversation to take place. So when we look at the bigger scheme of marketing, does everyone when you're planning an event, do you cut out or carve out a time and put some effort in planning into marketing the event? Do any of you do that? Yes. Yeah? How, how much portion, what portion of your budget is allocated to the marketing process? Raise your hands. You guys are actually going to have to participate and work. I bet you didn't say it on the door when you came in, but <laughs> I love it. Feedback. Give me some. Give me some answers. Anybody have an idea of how much uh, portion of your budget you allocate to the marketing process? Thirty percent. Five percent. Thirty percent. Some of my events, we don't have a budget for marketing. It's mm -hmm. all free. Uh, Craigslist, Facebook, word of mouth. I love it because if you look at it truly, everyone, what do they do when they want to save money on event? Where do they cut? They normally go to the marketing aspect, right? Because, well, we need to have some of the party uh, supply items like your tables and your, you know, your chairs and the venue and that type of thing. But when it comes down to it, if we're able to cut some areas for the budget, it usually ends up being in marketing. Well, there's some great news for you today because word of mouth marketing offers the highest return on investment, at the lowest cost possible. So anyone in this room today is going to be able to maximize their opportunity in marketing their next event. So just to give you an idea of what word of mouth marketing is, has everyone, anyone, this is going to be a little bit of a marketing uh, 101 class too, so it'll increase your knowledge in marketing. Has anyone ever heard of B2B? Anybody know what that means? Business to business. Business to business. Okay, has anyone heard of B2C? Business to customer. Customer, okay. And C2C? Customer to customer. Customer to customer. So what word of mouth marketing is, is B to C to C. So we're the event planners, we're the business, we're the organization. We're marketing to customers in a way that we hope that our customers will then in turn turn around and go tell other customers. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So that's what we're talking about here today. So like I said, return of, uh, <coughs> word of mouth marketing offers the largest return on investment. These are just some of the things that uh, implementing and offering a word of mouth marketing strategy in your business will offer. They'll reduce customer acquisition costs, They'll offer some free advertising opportunities because then that next stage of customers marketing to customers, you don't have to pay for that, right? It happens automatically. We uh, will get better results from your traditional marketing. So you'll do the marketing effort, you'll pay for the flyers, the advertising, uh, whatever aspects you happen to be doing. But then on top of it, if you're integrating a creative way to increase your marketing aspect, it will then in turn flow and move on forward longer and longer. There was, um, I'll give an example of this uh, where I say B to C to C. One of uh, my clients, they actually, they happen to be, has anyone ever heard of Montpreneur, the magazine? Uh, out of uh, Calgary, I think, Alberta. Uh, they're founded <laughs> out of that area. Uh, one of the, my clients, we came up with a strategy, a word of mouth marketing strategy, where they're a mompreneur magazine. They're promoting women who are entrepreneurs and mothers. So what we did is we came up with a creative idea. They're the sponsor at a large corporate event down in downtown Ottawa at the Chateau Laurier. Anybody ever been there? Room 400 people, round tables of hundreds of women corporate executives. 
one of the one of the panel speakers, the keynote speaker, was uh, a corporate judge, a female corporate judge, and uh, she was speaking. I don't even know what the topic was, but we were trying to come up with a creative way on how can uh, mompreneurs stand out in this crowd of professionals. So what did we do? We took the sales rep, we set her up with a nine-month-old baby, and the mompreneur magazines in one arm, and we got her to walk in to the ballroom five minutes late after everyone is already sitting down, and she shuffles through all the tables and everything, and then she sits down with her mom printer magazine and her little nine-month-old baby girl. So that marketing strategy, mind you, the baby wasn't drugged, but <laughs> she, she, she was a very good baby, so uh, we were able to make sure that, you know, because it could go sideways, right? But that was a marketing strategy where it went on and on and on and customers started talking. Everyone in that room, uh, not only did they mention the, the sales rep up at the podium, you know, after the speech was all done, someone came up to the microphone and said, I would just like to acknowledge that young lady that came in the room with the baby because that's what women stand for today, you know? And then she went on to ask the keynote speaker her question. Then afterwards, as many people that were going up to the keynote speaker, they were also coming up to the girl who was representing the, the organization, the Montpreneur uh, magazine, so that they could interact and, oh, is that a cute baby and what have you? And then weeks and weeks after the event itself, people were coming, hey, aren't you that lady that went to that event and showed up with a baby? You're that person, aren't you? So that's one way of how you can take, for instance, your efforts in putting dollars into sponsorship efforts and events or working with your clients, coming up with creative ways to market and increase and extend the marketing aspect. Um, you know, reduce customer service costs because then you're um, offering better customer service. So the net impact basically is that you get more business, increase return on investment, and your costs are lower. So what are the four basic rules of creating a word of mouth marketing strategy? You have to be interesting, you have to be different, you can't be mainstream. Don't walk. Don't, um, if you're a, if you're, how many people, where are the people that own their own marketing business? Or event business, sorry. One, two, three, four. Are you, where are you all located? Here in Toronto? Toronto. Yeah? And what differentiates you uh, in the marketplace, sir? Um, personalized service. Personalized service? Uh, multilingual. Great, okay. Um, I would say it's bilingual as well. Yes, okay. Anyone else? Destinations, trips, okay. So it's being interesting. What makes you different? Out of anyone walking the hallways, did anyone notice me before you actually saw me come up on stage? Yeah, right? Why? Because my promotion material is the same. Before I even step into a location, people see me. Usually they hear me, but now they see me. Uh, so you need to be different and interesting, just slightly. Like, we wouldn't really talk that much about Donald Trump if he didn't really have a bad hairdo, right? <laughs> if he ever, like, we always wonder, okay, he has so much money, why doesn't he get his hair fixed? <laughs> but it's what people talk about. It creates, it makes them different, right? So make it easy, it can't be difficult, it can't be something that's too long, and it wants to make people happy and interactive, and you have to be able to earn trust and respect. 